So today we're on our last day here in Greece um, and we decided we'd make a little video just to share some tips with you guys on how to save some money if you want to travel to Greece or if you're on a budget and you want to travel to Greece. Being here for two weeks, we were able to realize that you can definitely save some money because it's pretty expensive here. Um, so yeah. Today we're going to give you guys four tips on how to save a little bit of money and how to travel on a budget. So the first one is travel with family or friends so you can split the cost. And I definitely saw like um, us being able to save some money by doing that. We traveled with uh, two of her One of my members. nephews, yeah. A nephew and a cousin. So we definitely, we split the housing cost in between all four of us. So that definitely helped a lot. Um, we didn't stay at any hotels at all. We traveled to three places. We went to Athens, we visited Center, Amy, and Zakynthos Island. Um, they were all amazing. Actually, our favorite were <laughs> Center, Zaki. Amy, and Zakynthos. Yeah, not really Athens. That's another video. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, we were definitely able to save some money on all three places, and that's awesome. Yeah, and just make sure you travel with, with someone that you really get along with because if you don't get along with that person it's going to be not a good trip for you yeah you're going to have a lot of disagreements throughout your trip yeah. but so just make sure you pick the right person to travel with yes. tip number two book an airbnb and buy food to cook there at the airbnb so for us um like i said Greece is pretty expensive. A lot of the food was pretty expensive. Um, in our experience, we weren't very satisfied with Greek food. So we decided to buy food, go to the supermarket and um, buy food just to cook some breakfast and some dinner. And we pretty much would just eat lunch and have some desserts out while we were out, you know, doing our things. But definitely buy, buy food to cook breakfast. We would get up really early, we would cook some quick dinner, and I mean, it was pretty good for us. We would buy fruit, we would buy eggs, we would buy milk, cereal, and that was good enough for us. So that, that got us through a lot mm -hmm. and helped us save some money on there as well. And for the Airbnb, when you book it, make sure you book it close to the city or like where you're going to be around, that way you don't have to like uh, be so far of the activities be, yeah. or attractions. Be renting taxis. So for our um, at our stay in Athens, we had an awesome Airbnb, which was pretty much like in the center of everything. We had an amazing view of the Acropolis, and we were able to get everywhere that we wanted to by foot. So we did not go on taxi. We didn't get on the train. Nothing. We walked everywhere we wanted to, and it was it was pretty cool. Um, yeah, that was an experience in Athens, and then in Santorini and Zakynthos, that's a little bit different story. Yeah, so that leads us to tip number three, which is rent a quad or ride the train. But like you said, in Zakynthos and Santorini, we rented quads. A uh, razor. Yeah, instead of renting a car, just because renting a car would be more expensive, and quads were like what, like sixty or like forty euros per day. Yeah, per day. so. So over here you pay everything in euros, so it's a little bit more expensive than a dollar, but um, I think we got pretty good deals on that. In Santorini we, we rented um, razors, so that was pretty cool. And that's actually, I would say it was pretty pretty cool for the experience as well yeah. because in a car, I mean... You ride a car <laughs> every day. Yeah. Some of you. <laughs> um, it did have its pros and cons. The three days that we were in Santorini, the first two days was very windy. So <laughs> whenever we were riding the Razor, I mean, there's no windows or anything. So we had a lot of like dirt. Um, but it was also an advantage because people that got quads were going back and getting uh, Razors anyways because the winds were way too strong to ride quads. Yeah, so um, we went to the Razors. It was pretty fun. I mean... Sure you're wearing I'm, bandanas. <laughs> yeah, we we bought bandanas and we'd wear it. Here it's really sandy in Santorini. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we rode on it the first time and we had dirt everywhere, our eyes and 
so we would wear our glasses and wear a bandana. I wore goggles. <laughs> <laughs> Swimming goggles. Yes, that was, I mean, I guess the driver has to see, right? So, yes, um, no car, either four wheelers, razors, motors. I mean, there are people that were riding motorcycles, yeah, but mopeds. we didn't really feel safe in those. So, we put yeah. a razor. People in Greek. We oh. just don't know how to drive. They yes. drive crazy. Crazy. So if you guys careful. think people in y'all's hometown drives crazy, I think Greece topped it off. Yeah. Well, in, in our experience from the places we've visited. Mm -hmm. All right. So, tip number four, oh, number four, <laughs> is uh, activities. So with the activities, we kind of just shopped around because there's like there's a whole bunch of people offering activities. So we would just shop around, uh, make look at different prices, and just try to hustle them too. Because some people would give us an offer, and we would go somewhere else and be like, "Hey, th those people over there were giving us a better offer, but they would have better like routes." Yeah. So you just gotta play with them. Yes. So for example, in um, what was it in Santorini? Yeah. So in Santorini, we wanted to go on a boat tour. And there was a place that was giving it, giving us a price for like 60 euros, and then another place was giving it to us for like 175. We're like, oh nah, this place over here is giving it to us for 60. So oh, okay, 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 fine, I'll give it to you for 60. And then you know they we, dropped it, yeah. or and then we would get a good boat tour, better boat tour with a good price. With a good price. Okay. So yeah, so just don't go with the first. I mean, a lot of people are gonna try to sell it to you right there and. Uh, go into their shop so just say okay I'm just asking for the price or what what tours do you have and what are the prices keep that price in mind go to another little shop and then um, just ask for their prices there and then just hustle them like Mary said <laughs> yeah and that's pretty much what we did here in Greece to save up a little bit of money yeah it was it was pretty awesome I definitely recommend visiting Greece um, yeah, I guess we could, yeah. <laughs> well, those are the four tips. I hope you guys uh, can use those four tips to travel a little bit on a budget or if you want to save some money. Um, hopefully this helps and see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.